The USC Trojans continue to strengthen their opportunity to be in the college football playoff as they defeat the Notre Dame Fighting Irish here at the LA Memorial Coliseum 38-27 thanks in part to the most electrifying man in all of college football quarterback Caleb Williams who continues to put on a clinic for 72,000 plus here at the stadium. We had an opportunity to speak with head coach Lincoln Riley as well as quarterback Caleb Williams on what he has learned about himself over the course of the season throughout the ebbs and flows as well as what Lincoln Riley praised and who he praised as far as his opportunities towards victory. I didn't think yes or no. Like I just, you just, it's like right now, like you just go to work and you just start putting it together as fast as you can and start building the culture as fast as you can and I can't say like, yes, I knew this was going to happen, but at the same time, like, I, I don't believe in putting limits on what you can accomplish, especially if you get the right people in the building and everybody decides to be unselfish and work hard for each other. And that's what this group's done. And they're a great example of when you do that, like the worst thing you could ever do is put limits on what you can accomplish. So I, when you guys knew me, I, I, I've stood right by what I told you our expectations were from day one. A lot of people thought I was crazy and that's fine. People in, within the walls, knew what we were about and kind of, I think, had a sense of what we were building, and that's been a, that's been a fun run. I, I honestly strike because a bunch of my teammates were saying do it. Um, I normally don't, after I score, I normally just kind of don't do anything. Um, and so they told me to, to do it, um, and they kept saying it, so I just ended up doing it in the moment. Uh, but like Coach said, we got a short week, um, and whoever we have, uh, we're coming for it. So, um, that's our next one. Um, we, we have goals in mind that we want to reach. Caleb, how, how have you grown over the course of the season as far as the ebbs and flows of the season? And what specifically have you seen this team grow in and what areas? Yeah, we, we do a <clears throat> ways that we've grown. Um, start off with the team is, is having each other's back. Um, I mean, you can go from, from first week to, to now. Um, our last week of, you know, offense goes down. Um, and, and, and defense is, is right there to, to punch back. Defense and special teams is right there to punch back. Um, defense goes down. Offense and special teams right there to punch back. Um, special teams not doing so well. We got defense and offense to, to pick up for each other. Um, and and we, we got a gritty team. Um, and, and, and we know our, we know our, our identity. Um, and we're, 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 not, we're not shying away from it. Uh, we're, we're attacking it. We know who we are, and we're going to play like that every every game that we every game that we get. So, um, and then myself, I don't know. I've been I've been trying to lead more. Um, there's there's been times throughout games, um, practice where where I'm not leading to the to ability uh, to my ability, and um, I've, I've for sure been trying to pick that up um, here in the, the later part of the, the year. Physicalist, but we wasn't going for that. I think we're as good as any team, um, and it doesn't. I'm not just talking about today. Um, from from spring ball to, to summer workouts and things like that, I thought we were going to be a great team. Um, you know, the outside world. We talked about this: is that the outside world is going to say what they have to say, um, and, and we're 11 and one right now. Um, so obviously, it doesn't matter. Um, and and we thought we were a great team, like I said, and uh, we've shown it. Um, and and. Whatever happens is what's going to happen, but we got a game this week that we got to focus on. Gosh, you just you see it happen over and over all year. You know, his ability to feel pressure, um, to spin out of it. We told our guys, he's going to spin, he's going to spin and work upfield. He's elusive, man, and he's got huge legs. He's like a running back back there at times, but he's got an arm of a great quarterback. You know, he's really difficult to, to bring down, um, you know, and, and uh, he's a special player. So once again, the USC Trojans defeat the Notre Dame Fighting Irish here at their final regular season home game at the L.A. Coliseum 38-27 and keep their chances alive towards the college football playoff as they prepare next week to take on their Pac-12 opponent in the Pac-12 championship game in Las Vegas.